हेलो टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइड्रोफिली व्हिच इज अ मोड ऑफ पॉलिनेशन व्हेन द पॉलिनेशन अकर बाय द वाटर इट इज कॉल्ड एज द हाइड्रोफिली ओके एंड हाइड्रोफिली इज एक्चुअली कैटेगराइज्ड इनटू टू वन इज नोन एज द एपी हाइड्रोफिली अनदर इज नोन एज द हाइपो हाइड्रोफिली नाउ एपी मींस अबव हाइपो मींस बिलो when the pollination occurs on the surface of the water it is called as the api hydrophily say for the best example of the api hydrophily is the velisneria where the pollination occurs on the surface of the water but there are few plants like jostera cerectophyllum najas hydrilla in all these plants the pollination occur inside the water and when the pollination occur inside the water then such type of the pollination is called as the hypo hydrophily in this video we will be concentrating especially on the velisneria because many times the questions are asked from the velisneria that how do the pollination occur in velisneria okay now we know very well that maximum pollination occur by the insects okay but the hydrophily is a abiotic agency for the pollination okay and it is very rare in the case of the flowering plants and it is seen that only 30 genera especially of the monocots are showing the hydrophily otherwise the other uh, flowering plants are showing either the anemophily or we can say it as they can show the entomophily that is the pollination by the insects okay and in 30 parts in in the 30 genera we can see that the pollination occur by the water now water pollinated plants may be uh, found in the fresh water or they may be found in the marine water so water pollinated plants which are found in the fresh water are the velisneria and the hydrilla the two common examples in which the pollination occur in the water are that is the velisneria and the hydrilla both are the fresh water plants while uh, we can see a example of jostera which is a marine sea grass in this the pollination occur in the marine water or we can say it is that jostera is a sea grass right found in the marine water and velisneria and hydrilla are found in the fresh water now it's not necessary that always those plants which are found in the water body will show hydrophily only there are few aquatic plants which are found in the water but then too they are not showing the hydrophily they show uh, either the pollination by the insects or by the wind say for the two common examples are water hyacinth we know very well that is known as the icornia okay and the water lily very common examples hai na to see you can see that water hyacinth and water uh, water lily these flowers emerge above the level of the water means both these plants are found in the water what happens that these flowers emerge above the level of the water and they are pollinated either by the insects or they are pollinated by the wind so we can say that aquatic plants also can be pollinated by insects or wind now there is a case study of pollination shown here known as the pollination in the velisneria now see in velisneria female flower reach the surface of the water what happens in velisneria that female flower reach on the surface of the water this is the surface of the water so female flower reach on surface of the water by its long stalk this is the long spiral stalk of the female flower due to which what happens that this female flower reach on the surface of the water and at the same time the male flowers bearing the pollen grains are also released on the surface of the water and these pollen grains or the male flowers are carried passively by the water currents and some of the pollen grains come in contact with the female flowers or the stigma and ultimately what happens pollination occur okay but how is actually happening this thing you can see in details here that you must first of all know 
that Valisneria is a dioecious plant. We know very well that dioecious plants uh, are the plants in which the male plant and the female plant are different. Male plant is bearing the male inflorescence and the female plant is bearing the female. Okay, so Valisneria is a dioecious plant and definitely the dioecious plant will be having the unisexual flowers. Okay, male plant will be having the male inflorescence and female plant will be having the female flower. Okay, so now what happens? See, concentrate here on the female plant that at maturity, what happens on the male in the male plant as well as the female plant? What happens at maturity? Male flowers are detached from the parent plant. Now, this is the parent plant, this is the male inflorescence. Okay, so what happens at maturity? That at maturity the male flowers are detached here okay and they are detached from the parent plant and they float on the surface of the water so these are the male flowers which are actually floating on the surface of the water at the same time what happens the pedicel pedicel means the stalk pedicel means the stalk of the female flower so the pedicel of the female flower are long and coiled you can see in the diagram that the pedicel of the female flower is very much long and it is coiled but what happens that at the time of the maturity this long spiral stalk of the female flower becomes uncoiled it's natural that when the thing will become uncoiled when a coiled thing will become uncoiled so it will become long and because of the elongation or the uncoiling of this female flower what happens that this female flower reach on the surface of the water. Now, initially the female flowers are vertical in position. Initially the female flowers are vertical in position. But due to too much elongation of the stalk, they become horizontal. So earlier they are vertical, but as they reach on the surface of the water, they become horizontal. Okay, so now what happens? now the pollination will occur on the surface of the water why because now at the surface of the water female flower is also present and male flowers are also present okay so poly now what will happen the act of the pollination will occur and the pollinated female flowers as well as this female flower is pollinated by the male flower this uh, female flower will again go inside the water how it will go inside the water? Why? Because this female flower which was having the long stalks which have became uh, uncoiled at the time of uh, the pollination right now again what happens that when the pollination is over this female flower again what happens the coiling happens right it becomes this long stalk become spirally coiled after pollination and due to the tightening of this long stalk it comes inside the water and later on the fruit formation occur inside the water only it means only the act of the pollination occur on the surface of the water and rest all events including the fruit formation occur inside the water body only. So this is the mode of pollination in the Valisneria. Many times the question is asked. Okay. Now, it's not necessary that all the plant shows the pollination in this matter only. Okay. Now in sea grasses, say for in sea grasses, I am quoting an example here of the Jostera, which is a marine sea grass. In the sea grasses what happens that female flowers remain inside the water only and the pollination occur inside the water only means the pollination in Jostera is hypohydrophily type okay so here the female flower remains inside the water only and the pollen grains released by the male flowers are also released inside the water only and the pollen grains here are long and ribbon like this question was asked in the NEAT exam that what type of the pollen grains are found in a sea grass named as Jostera. So remember that pollen grains are long and ribbon like and these pollen grains which are long and ribbon like are passively carried by the water currents towards the female flower. 
and ultimately what will happen the act of the pollination will occur now a question arises in mind that the pollen grains which are released in the water body uh, they, they are not uh, wetted so the answer is that that the pollen grains are actually covered by a mucilaginous covering and therefore the pollen grains are protected by the water okay so always in maximum uh, aquatic plants the pollen grains are covered by the mucilaginous covering okay so uh, this was the video based on that how do the pollination uh, occur in the plants found in the water body so keep watching my videos we will be coming soon with few new videos if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take